Hey, Real Estate Ninjas, Kelly here. And in today's video, we're going to get into what you can be doing as an agent to basically get you some listing appointments, right? That's what we want to talk about. In this market, um, you know, you've got to be real flexible and you're competing. I mean, I, in our county, we've got more agents than ever, which kind of baffles me because with the inventory being so low and depressed, um, you know, working with buyers is an issue because you're not finding them properties and then trying to get listings because there's so little listings, you're competing with everybody. So we're going to see what happens in the market in the next couple months to six months to a year to see how many newer agents stay, uh, you know, how many uh, agents have been around a while not producing stay. This is going to be an interesting market. But without further ado, let's get into today's topic on what you can do to start generating listing appointments, right? So if you haven't already and you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe, show me some love and smash the like for this video, and then make sure you hit the bell so that you will be notified when the Ninja puts out more of these great, great videos, uh, if I say so myself. So anyway, without further ado, let's talk about listing in 2021. Yes, I've dated the video. And what you could be doing as an agent to start playing in this river and competing with the big boys. Now, guys, if you're in a market like me, there are a couple real estate teams from some national franchise brokers that are just crushing it. And they have something that you don't have. Cash flow. <laughs> We've got a, an agent here locally that's probably, I don't know for a fact, but I bet you they're, they're probably spending 10 to 20 grand a month in marketing. Well, it's hard to compete with that. And they've got systems in play to help them out. So what can you do to level the playing field? Well, number one, you've got to go after the right lead sources. You've got to offer them some things of value to make them want to talk with you. I think the mistake that a lot of agents make is we go in for the kill. We try to get that listing appointment. If you've been an agent long enough or you've been following different gurus and coaches, you hear a lot of the cold calling nightmares. You hear about the scripts. Hey, are you open to interviewing an aggressive agent? Hey, I've got a buyer. Do you mind if I come preview your home? I mean, my God, it's just endless with all of these different things you could be doing. How about this? Just be straightforward. Offer them things of value. Here's what I know. If you're going to exchange value for time, that's a valid exchange. I'm not calling and asking for something without value. And if you want my time, give me something of value. There's an exchange, right? Unfortunately, a lot of agents, we do this without exchanging. We think, well, I'm an agent. You need to sell your home. Let's talk, right? There's no exchange there. And then you get all offended and crushed when they blow you off. The other thing is if your standard practice and it's just absolutely kicking your butt is cold calling, be very careful. Um, this video, we're not going to go into cold calling. If you cold call, I'm not against you doing that. However, there are some pitfalls to look, look to with your cold calling. Um, and we'll get into those in just a minute because I want to show you some examples of what not to do. So let's talk about new seller, how you get appointments with new sellers, geo farming for sellers, how you invigorate them and get them to respond to you. For sell by owners and expireds, those niches right there, guys, there are riches in those niches. And I want to show you some things of value you can exchange for time. In this case, time is that ever important meeting, right? So let's talk in those four different niches. Let's talk about for sell by owners right now. One of the things that we offer a for sell by owner is of that's of value is a free website. Uh, so I might send out a direct mail postcard or I might do a text video if they're not on the do not call list and offer them a thing of value. And my conversation with them generally revolves around this. Hey, congratulations. As you're attempting to sell as a for sale by owner, you probably know this market is extremely hot right now. Uh, you will be shocked if I tell you this, Mr. Fisbo, but I think you can sell without an agent while you're doing this. Would you be open to allowing me to give you one of the most incredible, powerful tools we as agents have to generate leads and to communicate? I want to give you guys a free website that will have everything about your home there for buyers to look at and allow you to have buyers schedule appointments with you directly from your website. Are you guys open to seeing me for 15 or 20 minutes so that I can go over how the website's going to work and I'll deliver it to you that day? 
Um, but this is my free gift to you, right? There's the message. I'm giving you a free website, Mr. Fisbo. And in exchange, you just have to see me. And you need to be very upfront with him. Mr. Fisbo, this is not a listing appointment. This is a way for me to come meet you guys, find out a little bit more about your goals, your strategies. If you're moving, uh, it's also giving me the ability to maybe give you some suggestions on areas that are uh, really good to look at. So there's a good, good, good conversation you can have with them. Now, I want to show you an example of what one of these websites looks like. Here it is right here, guys. Um, I'll drop a link below the video. If you want to try this company out, it's called Listings to Leads. I love this company. Scott Pierce, the owner, has developed a killer product. I'm not going to go into detail on this video about everything you can do with them. I have videos on that. But here's just one tool that you can create a website for a FISBO, right? And here's another thing. It allows them to schedule a tour directly in their website with potential buyers. And because your uh, logo, your branding, everything about you is nowhere on this website, uh, just check with your broker, but you should be compliant because his contact information is in here, not yours. And then you're going to, uh, the website will create some free ebook ebooks for the seller and for any buyer that goes to his website. It allows him to check his home evaluation. It gives a map of all the restaurants, I mean, everything, right? And then a really cool feature here is a Google map that allows buyers to walk through and look at the property. So here is an example of something of extreme value that you can give the for sale by owner, right? So that covers the for sale by owner. Let's talk about uh, sellers and expires, right? So this website we're talking about is primarily for the FISBOs. This is a way for you to say, hey, if you'll see me, I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to explain to you how you can use it on sites like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, um, TikTok, how you can use this website to attract buyers, right? How you can level the playing ground, Mr. Fisbo, with other agents that have websites like this of their listings. We're going to give you your own. So I think you can see the value there. So now let's go into how you can give something of value to either an expired homeowner or as you're geofarming and making appointments with potential sellers. So let's talk about this strategy. This is where, again, this is not a listing appointment. I'm giving something of value. Mr. Expired, Mr. Geo Seller, I would love the opportunity to come share with you what's happening in your neighborhood. I want to share with you what homes have sold near your home and then go over some of the recent statistics on how this market is so hot right now that you probably, if and when you decide to sell, you probably would make the most money on the sale of your home right now than we've seen in years, right? So one of the things I want to give you, Mr. Expired, uh, and you can actually tweak this for a, a listing appointment to show them that you're actively marketing for buyers for their home, is you say, Mr. Uh, expired, I know your home is listed for sale. Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit more about why you think it didn't. Uh, I want to meet with you guys. This is not a listing appointment. I just want to share some different strategies you guys could use when and if you decide to relist with a realtor. These will help you in uh, making sure that you pick the right realtor, right? So one of the things I'd like to do, Mr. Expired, is I want to come to your, and you can even use this for FISBOs. I would love to come to your house, hear your story, find out why you think your home didn't sell, and then give you my data as to why I think it didn't sell and I'll also tell you what sold in your neighborhood near you in the last three to six months. And I'll go over how much uh, how much the home sold for. And we can talk about that in relation to your house. But Mr. Expired, I'm also going to do something that no other agent that I know of locally is going to do. I want to bring with me a list of at least 10 families that I found that potentially could be looking in your neighborhood in the next 30 to 90 days. Uh, these are buyer leads. These are the type of marketing. This is the type of marketing I do every day for homes that I list. And I bet your last realtor probably didn't go over the strategy with you. Most realtors I know don't know they can do this. This is one of our number one ways of getting the uh, uh, buyers that are near you to come through your home and to get offers. So what I'd like to do is drop off a list of at least 10 families looking to potentially buy in your neighborhood. This will have a picture of the home that they live in. It'll have a picture of, uh, you know, where they're at. It'll also have contact information. And then when I give you these leads, uh, I'll share with you how to communicate with them if you so desire. Consider this a free gift to you because I want you to show you, I want to show you how 
the marketing of your home matters. And if your last realtor wasn't finding buyers for your home, that might be one of the issues. So guys, if you're sitting there going, okay, Kelly, how do we do that? This is simple. I use the multiple listing service, guys. You can do this. So what I did, and I'm going to show you how to do this strategy. I went, I went and found everything active and pending. Now for this test home, let's assume that your, uh, the, 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 the expired home or whatever the target home is of your appointment is um, valued at around 280, right? So what I did is I went and found everything active and pending that is between 385 and 625 with these bedrooms, these baths, and significantly more square footage than the target home. And it pulled up in the three cities that would be of interest to him. These are all within 10 miles of his address. Um, there are 26 matches that meet this criteria, right? And these are going to be what we call move down buyers. Now, I'm not going to go into detail, but guys, walk with me on this. I'm going to hit results. Then I'm going to go through this list. Let's, let's do um, single line. These are all of the homes right here. These are the actives and pendings. And I'm literally going to pick on this list the uh, five best, what I would feel, the five best prospects. These are, these are families that are actively trying to sell their home. Now, guys, what's going to happen when, when a family goes active or they just go pending? If they don't have the next home they're going to move into, they are now scrambling to find their next home. What an incredible way for you to show your client that every day you have their listing, you are going ahead and inviting the right buyers, move down buyers who are potentially looking to sell their larger, more expensive home to a smaller home in the same area. According to NAR, people sell their home and buy within 10 to 15 miles of their existing address. So this is a great method, not only for you to sell your own listings, but for you to show that potential expired or that seller or that FISBO that when I take a listing, I do this every day of the week. I rinse and repeat this until I get your home sold. So let's recap. For the FISBO, to get the appointment, you want to offer a free website. You can go to listings to leads and create this within minutes. I'll drop the 30-day free trial link. Guys, try it out. Great company. Or don't. I don't care. But this is a great strategy. The next strategy for expireds, FISBOs, and or geofarming for sellers to get the appointment is talk about the fact that you have a, uh, you have a supply of ready-to-go buyers statistically looking to buy in their neighborhood or near their home in the next 30 to 90 days. You print these MLS sheets, and then you share with them why these are the best buyers for their home. These buyers statistically are looking to buy in or near their home. And these buyers statistically are probably going to be in greater detail, move down buyers. And so you're going to let them know that I've only pulled a couple for you to see today. I'm going to leave them with you. But this is the type of marketing that we do on the behalf of our sellers. Five days, six days, seven days a week. We rinse and repeat this until we have multiple offers on our home. This is the number one strategy, Mr. Seller. And, and realistically, most agents don't even know they can do this. And this is what we train our team, right? So there you go. That is how you can get a free website and you can give them free leads. The other one, and this one is something you should be doing, but you should be working in a free home evaluation lead to these particular clients. Say, hey, how would you like to know how much? Don't say, hey, I want to come and give you a, a, whole, a, a CMA, right? How about this? Mr. Seller, I know that you're wanting to sell your home or you might want to in the next 12 months, or Mr. Expired, I know your home expired. How would you like an updated profit analysis? I'd like to put together a report that shows how much profit in today's market you can make on the sale of your home. Guys, that sounds so much better than a CMA. Hey, how much money do you want to walk away with at the closing table? Well, let me share that with you, Mr. Seller, right? So offer these free home evaluation analysis. Now, one of the things I want to also share is how you are going to get this um, uh, FISBOs and expireds and geofarm and all of that. How can you utilize your marketing to get your message? Because at the end of the day, you've got all, all of what I just went through with you is phenomenal marketing, but you've got to get this message to them. One of the things you can do, and I will leave a uh, link below for a 14 day trial if you don't have it, is send them direct mail. So you can send the FISBO a postcard, right? Drive by their house, snap a picture with your phone of their home and come back, upload it to your mailbox power account if you go ahead and initiate it. And you will absolutely uh, send them a killer card, 
offer them a free website, maybe put a, a QR code that links to a video, uh, maybe a bomb bomb video where you're saying, hey, thank you for clicking the QR code. Just want to let you know, here's a sample of a site. Let me show it to you. But guys, that, that is killer marketing. Um, and if you don't understand all of this, drop me some comments below. Maybe we can do a Zoom together. I'm telling you, this stuff is ninja level marketing. The other thing you can do is um, I use a company called My Plus Leads to get all my Fizzbone expired data. So here's a good example. Let me just stop right here. So we've talked about going after sellers the right way, offering something of value in exchange for time, right? But how do you get the information? You can go to Zillow and pull a list of FISBOs, and typically you're going to have their address, their name, and maybe their cell phone number. You can go to your MLS and pull all of the old expireds. You're going to have their address, their name, and you can send them direct mail. I use a company called My Plus Leads below the video. Again, I'll drop a 30-day free trial. And My Plus Leads every day gives me all of the new FISBOs and expireds for that day. And when you have My Plus Leads, I think it's for three to six months. They unlock up to two years. At least they used to. I know in mine, I can go back two years now and search for data. But guys, one of the reasons why I'm against cold calling as your first strategy is there are laws right now. And if you call somebody that's on the do not call, lawyers are literally waiting for you as an agent to do this. There are major fines. I don't know what the number, the dollar fine is, but it's quite hefty. And I know if you go to YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube, probably. Um, if you go to YouTube, there are there are ways for you to uh, literally get yourself fined and lose your license if you cold call people on the do not call list. Now, am I against cold calling? No. However, my methods, my marketing tips and strategies, I have them contacting me for my offers, right? If they contact me, that's a hot lead. Um, but I do a lot of texting videos, email videos. So one of the sources that I use is my plus lead. So today I got two brand new FISBOs. I copied. Now I checked this number and this number and they're on the do not call list. So his wife's number, that one right there, I went and checked on a real phone validation and look, her phone number is not on the do not call list and it's a mobile. So what does that mean? I can send her a text video. Right. I can send a video with an offer. Hey, uh, Miranda, just wanted to let you know, blah, 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 blah. So I'll give her a text video with my offer. How would you like a free website as you're selling for sale by owner? I would love to give you some of the tools to help you level the playing ground with other agents competing against you for buyers. This is free. You don't you do not have to list with me. Think of it as my way of helping you helping you expose your home to the right buyers. Go ahead and text me back on this number if you'd like the free website, and I'll give you a quick three minute call to tell you how it's gonna work. And again, you do not have to list with me. I will not ask you to list with me. This is my free gift, right? Imagine sending that on a, with a bomb bomb video on a text, holy smokes. Then I'm going to send her a postcard. So let's talk about this. Text, video, She's going to get four postcards from me in one month. Those postcards, all four of them to her, cost me $1.63 total. So now I've got five touches. And then if I want to, after I send this text video and she gets my first postcard, I might call her up. Hey, I just wanted to see, right? That's how you get your appointments because that's how you dominate. Don't think if you get a lead, if you don't, if you email or text them and they don't call you back, that, uh, no, statistically, it takes up to eight touches before you get a response. So, guys, I just laid out a gold mine for you um, in, in terms of where to find leads, offers to make, give them a free website, give them some free leads, use the giving of free leads to share with them how this sets you apart. You know, a lot of you agents go in with these big listing presentations. I can go in there in 10 or 15 minutes and show them enough marketing that we literally, if, if it's an open playing field, I'll blow everybody else away because of the marketing that we'll employ. Just the buyer lead generation alone is worth its weight in gold. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I, I wanted to go a little bit more into detail, but I think you get the, the gist of it. There are ways for you to communicate with FISBOs, expires by offering value. And as you geofarm for sellers, or you work, you get seller leads on Facebook or other sources, 
there's ways for you to make appointments that's different than most agents. Now, I'm not against doing a listing appointment, going in and do it. But guys, I also know this. Today is different than it was last year. And if I know this, if you offer something, exchange, we call it exchange, exchange something of value for their time, it usually makes sense to them. And if you don't come across as a you know, salesman, uh, a scammer, uh, you know, a used car, if you don't, come, if you come across as I care, I think you guys can do this on your own. I would love to give you some of the very tools that I'm using right now as an agent. When I have a home that I list, I want to give these to you. Now, if they ask why, be honest. Well, Mr. Fisbo, Mr. Expired, Mr. Seller, whatever. The reason I'm doing this is I want to show you that there's a different kind of realtor in town. He's the ninja. His name's Kelly. His name's Jan. His name's Barbara. His name, whatever, her name, his name, whatever. You get the point. I wanted to do this to show you that I'm different. And the other reason is if at any time in the next 30 to 60 to 90 days, you guys aren't able to sell your home and you are then open to other options. I want to share with you what our team can do to absolutely dominate getting your home sold for the price you want in a very, very, very quick time. So if that's acceptable, I'd love to give you this, this uh, free gift and then stay in communication with you. Guys, you see how powerful that is? All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Again, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. Please smash that like button. Let YouTube know you like this video. I know it's a little bit long, but man, this was worth its weight in gold for you guys. Have a great day. By the way, if you stayed with me for the entire 21, 22 minutes, if you're an agent and you are not happy where you're at and you would like to join Team Ninja, I'm going to drop a link below. It's my scheduling link, Calendly link. Schedule a Zoom with me. I want to share with you what we do to help agents that come in underneath us on our team to dominate lead generation. We are going to help you with your lead generation, with your CRM setup, drip camp. We're going to help you through this and get you to closing one to three deals a month. If that's you, go ahead and schedule a time with me. Talk with me. Let's talk about eXp Realty, what it would take to join the team, the things that we're going to do for you monthly to help you achieve your goals. So if that's you, hit the scheduling link below. Other than that, have a great day and listen, go get you some.